Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. Welcome back, Rodrigo. Hello, teacher. Hello. Sorry, my 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 speakers are off. Ah. Teacher, eh, tengo, tengo una consulta. Ajá. Eh, ¿Verdad que el otro viernes terminamos? Ah, uh, sí. Es que ese viernes va a ser la fiesta de la empresa, entonces no voy a poder estar. Me imagino que ese día va a ser el examen. Sí, este... Pueden, pueden adelantarlo, el examen. Uh -huh. Ah, va. va. Uh -huh. Sí, lo, lo estaría haciendo quizás entonces el, el, el jueves. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, porque ahora, ahora nos notificaron que por fin nos van a dar pan untado con, con salsa de chumpe. <risa> <risa> ok, ok. Así que eso, eso quería saber, teacher. Muy bien. Sí, es que ahorita son esas fechas que todo el mundo está de fiesta. Sí, pero si no es así, no nos hacen nada. <risa> Actually, I'm going to have my, my company's party is Saturday. Oh. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that it was going to be Friday, so I was like, hmm, I will have to skip the party. <laughs> Yo si no puedo decir, <laughs> me dan permiso. <laughs> but sí, me, me gonna be, it's going to be Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see who else is here. We have Gabriela, Mauricio, Leticia, Dani as a listener, Mr. Roberto, Israel, Gilberto. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Are you having a, a holiday party too, Gilberto? Uh, the party, the, the company, 16 Saturday. Ah, okay. Same, same day as mine on Saturday. Sí. Okay. Do you have your outfit ready? Can you repeat it? <laughs> Do you have your party outfit? Ready. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm ready. Your clothes. <laughs> your outfit. Yes. Okay. Good. Well, everybody, welcome. This is our session number 20. We're almost done. Um, and, well, I was checking that uh, according to the to to the planning, um, we have several things to cover today. So we're gonna be um, well, not in a hurry because of course uh, learning is is the most important aspect here. But uh, we'll try to make sure we cover. Uh, what we are still missing from unit three because next week we start with unit four. Okay, so let's check attendance first of all. Second here.
Okay, something is going on with my connection, I guess. I'm sorry, I had a problem with connection. Let me open the, the attendance. Okay, uh, let's start with Danny Anthony, Siguenza Ventura. He is a listener. Um, Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present. Okay. Y Jose Andres Martinez Perez. He's out today. Y Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. I saw Julio somewhere. Are you there, Julio? Hmm. Okay, he entered, but he's out now. Uh, Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Here. Uh, Maria Leticia Religeño. Okay, thank you, Maria Leticia. Mauricio de Jesus Buruca. I see you as a listener. Eh, Rebeca Maria Cardona, not here yet. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. ¿Qué se nos hizo? Ah, okay, I see you as a listener. Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga, not here yet. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez, I think she's not going to be here today. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Present teacher. Great. Okay. Um, well, yesterday, if you remember, uh, we finished the class by checking vocabulary. Okay. Checking vocabulary uh, related to... Um, Branding, okay. Some, um, let's say, some comp branding components, right? We have brand awareness, perceived quality, brand associations, brand loyalty, proprietary assets, okay. So we we covered this part yesterday. Now the practice activity in this case is to use this these uh, branding components uh, into uh, an analysis of a national brand and their its components okay for example in previous uh, classes some of you have analyzed pollo campero um, let me see uh, some of you talked about big cola uh, and other national brands. So we're going to work with that today. And uh, let's focus on the instructions here. It says, think of a national brand, identify the components of their branding strategy. And we're going to use the questions that we have in the chart to as a guide, okay? So we have the five components, the ones we saw here on the first uh, activity. And, uh, okay, let's go over the questions that we have for each. For brand awareness, what are some associations to this brand? Are those associations effective to position the brand in the customer's minds when shopping? Okay, uh, we can also, check the, the definition for brand awareness here. Um, let me see. Extent to which consumers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. So how familiar are customers with this brand, right? Um, okay, and then perceived quality. Do customers get the brands, sorry, do customers get the brand because of its quality? Is price key to the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Okay, so this is about perceived quality. Now, brand associations. Is the brand able to activate associations in the customer's minds? 
Does the brand create positive feelings in customers? Are their brand extensions in the market? A, about brand loyalty, we have, are there many loyal customers for this brand? Do they help promote the brand via word of mouth? Word of mouth, in this case, it means like, for example, if I buy a pair of shoes and these shoes la these shoes are comfortable, these shoes last for a long time, um, et cetera, I can recommend this brand to my friends, to my family, et cetera. So in this case, I am promoting the brand via word of mouth, right? Because I talk about it, I recommend it to somebody else based on my experience. That is word of mouth. Let, let's see, are customers satisfied with the brand in general, right? That is about brand loyalty. And proprietary assets, we have, does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors? Okay, so, um, well, these are all uh, the questions that we're going to be thinking about or answering related to a brand, a national brand, okay? So, um, right now we're going to um, start working with our pairs. Let me assign here. Mm, okay, we have about um, Okay, I think we are ready. So now we're going to go to our rooms, okay? And we're going to work on this part. I'm going to help you with the image. Lady, can you join your room? Right now, please. Yes. Do you see the option? Okay, I just shared.
Así es, Gabriel. Teacher. Hello. A ver, question. Ajá. Uh, I think this, uh, I think, uh, or national brand identify. Tenemos que identificar una marca también. Ajá. Think of a brand and then you analyze it using the questions you have in the chart. Okay. Mm -hmm. Similar to what we did last time, uh, remember that you have a product brand and person, well, product brand, and you have the questions. So you think of the brand and then uh, analyze it using the questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's decide on a brand. Compañero. Of this homework, uh, of this work, uh, what page is it? Uh, 32, if I'm not wrong, ah. I can check. Mm -hmm. I shared the image in the WhatsApp group. Ah. No, ah. I'm sorry, it's page 29. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you later. Let me check your classmates. Mm. Well, when I I I think is when you talk about the association to the brand is what do you what comes to your mind when you think about cola champagne? Mm. Yes, but the publicity in the stores. And restaurants. Yes. And I, I don't all remember you, you you don't you know I don't know if you remember that old advertisement of Cola Champagne. Mm, not remember now. Okay. Um Let's think another association with the brand. I think we could say about it's a yeah, it's, it's a it's a national brand that everyone recognizes. Yes. Uh is the preferred mm, preferida de las personas. Uh -huh. It's the favorite. People it's the favorite. It's the favorite for people. <laughs> yes. Also, well, I'm going to here a little bit. Uh, when you talk about associations, in this case, for example, if you have been out of the country, uh, well, especially in the U.S., um, people who live in the U.S., they feel like a connection, a, a special connection with this brand. I mean, there are other brands of soda in El Salvador, but Cola Champagne is like the one that people recognize as the national uh, soda brand. That's that's something I I I realized that people see it like you know like a typical Salvadorian product. That's what I what I know about cola champagne, so something that can be associated to it. Okay. That could be the first topic about the brand awareness, mm -hmm. the association with a Salvadorian drink. Uh -huh, like a national identity, right? There is a national identity with 
with this string. Mm -hmm. And how about the prestige quality? Y encuentra de todo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Es un lugar donde, donde compra la familia y es caro. Así, tal cual. Sí, es caro. Para, para ustedes podría ser, ah, es un supermercado totalmente completo. Podría ser para Gabriela, ah, en, en, el super, en el Selectos encuentro tal cosa específica que no la encuentro en ningún otro supermercado. Sí. Entonces, es un lugar... E eh, incluso... Hasta cafeterías tienen algunas tiendas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, este, va, ya tienen eso. Entonces, no sé, Gabriela, si usted nos puede ayudar ahí haciendo para las preguntas. Ok. Yo creo que va, quiero ver cuál es la asociación. ¿Qué asocias con la marca, Bea? O algo así, uh -huh. la primera... ¿Qué, qué, qué, oja, qué, ¿Con qué asocio yo la marca? O también puede ser... ¿Con, ajá, ¿con qué asocio la marca? Con comida, eh, un lugar accesible, porque hay... Eh, vaya, ajá, un lugar accesible, porque hay bastantes eh, lugares. Hay bastantes, eh, como sub, supermercados, veo. También lo podemos asociar con la facilidad de parquearse, ¿verdad? Ajá, y seguridad, los... ¿verdad? Seguri... Creo que es más que todo la seguridad, porque antes, prácticamente por eso es que la gente va al súper, antes de lo del régimen. Sí, porque... iba, ¿verdad? Más que todo, hay gente que solo va al supermercado y los <ríe> mercados lo dejaban a un lado, ¿verdad? Por la seguridad. Sí, y es más difícil porque, por ejemplo, cuando hablamos de mercados, hablamos de pagar parqueos, hablamos de la seguridad también, hablamos de la distancia, mientras que super selectos hay, ajá, es como más accesible porque hay varios en diferentes lugares. Sí, y lo encuentran, te puede decir, cerca, ¿verdad? Sí. Creo que con vale. eso... ¿Cuáles son algunas asociaciones con esta marca? Va, entonces, es esas dos. Podemos utilizar una o dos para que vayamos avanzando en cada, en cada uno. Ok. Seguridad y... Y familiar a la vez, ¿verdad? O sea, que va toda la familia con tranquilidad, los niños, hasta los montan sí, en la carretilla puede, uno, ¿verdad? Puede ser un, un, un lugar familiar, un lugar seguro y un lugar diversificado, o sea, encuentra de todo. Sí. Esa, esas tres pueden, se puede, o sea, quedan en la mente de uno. Sí. De los, de los, que Como del marketing que han usado, que es de, la, de lo más que ha pegado de super selectos, creo yo que es el sentido familiar que se le da. Sí, podría ser que el enfoque es familiar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, now let's say it in English. <risa> <risa> Uh, in the course, in the, on the customer mind, uh, the following ideas uh, mm -hmm. represents uh, for us uh, super selectors. Uh -huh. uh, 
a familiar place. Yes. A, a supermarket with a, a many products. A diversification okay. of or, or some diversification of products mm -hmm. from the economical to the specific or maybe a expensive one. Mm -hmm. And a, it's a, a it's a secure a, for a, it's a secure family place. Okay. Okay. Very good. I think you have covered many of the of the um, with everything you just said, Rodrigo. You already mm -hmm. covered like most of the. the <laughs> uh huh. All, all the all the all the work. Yes, exactly. Well, that's not mm -hmm. the idea, but thank you to tell us. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, because I mean, when we you were saying that there are many, I mean, everybody knows about super selectos, right? Especially because yes. there are many, um, many branches, right? Every well, even some small towns. In some small towns, you can find a super selectos, um, or in many malls, right? Different malls, different uh, shopping uh, areas, shopping centers, you can find one. Then uh, in terms of a uh, brand association, right? That it's, it's for the family, loyalty. Um, Bias. Uh -huh. Some people some people are loyal to super selectors, for example, because they find the specific products there that are not in other that they are not found in other supermarkets. Um for example, a super selector has a gourmet area, and in some other supermarkets, there is no gourmet area. So I mean, those are some some ideas, right? But you already know what you're going to say, what you're going to say, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Uh, well, let's take I think five more minutes to to do this. Uh, you don't have to answer every question, right? Just make like a little summary for each area. I think that would be fine. Okay, so we're going to take five more minutes for this task. Okay. Hello, Rolando. Are you a listener or a participant? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm available, teacher. Okay, okay. So, well, um... Right now, your classmates are working on uh, an analysis of the brand components. I just shared, well, a few minutes ago, I shared the components in the, in the group, in the WhatsApp group. So right now, I'm going to have you join group two. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. No, dele, tranquilo. The price? The price is accessible. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. Um. Hello. Rolando is here. He just joined the group because he was alone. <laughs> so Rolando, you can you can join the conversation here that Lady and Israel are having about cola champagne. They are talking Hello, they, are, <laughs> they are analyzing cola champagne. Okay. And, okay. and you can check the check the questions. 
in if you don't have your manual ready, the questions are in the image I just shared in the WhatsApp group. Okay, so you can check them there. Okay, um, let's see. I hope we can be done like within the next five to seven minutes because um we need we we have other activities, but let's see how how you advance. Okay. Okay. Um, yes, but the, the, for the time for um for the this company or uh, company in more years I don't know I think o sea porque es muy muy fue creo que ha sido de las primeras empresas más grandes en el país también entonces por la por el tiempo y como fue la como la pionera en el país de este tipo de empresas donde se puede encontrar de todo en un solo lugar uh -huh. entonces hay que plasmarlo eh, de la siguiente bueno en inglés vea eh, the brand actually have many years in the market so the people, all the people comment it, uh, it others. Yeah. 
about the, the, the brand name. For example, uh, when I tell to Mr. Gilberto, Mr. Gilberto, do you know uh, a supermarket near from here? And Mr. Gilberto answered, yes, yes, Rodrigo. Uh, there is a selectos right there, for example. Yes, yeah. In one promo, what a mouver. Yeah. Uh, uh, easy in the people and check uh, the company. Uh, the promote what a mouth. Uh, do you have the idea, Gabi? The main idea? Mm, que sí, porque estamos hablando antes de que, por ejemplo, eh, es lo que decimos cuando nos falta algo, en el super debe de haber, vea. En el super selecto uh -huh. debe de haber. Entonces creo que eso también es una, una for forma de promoción de boca a boca. Porque, uh -huh. por ejemplo, cuando hay gente extranjera y cosas así, no, oh, en el super hay. Es por ejemplo cuando uno va a Estados Unidos, ah, en el Walmart hay, vea. Uh -huh. Sí. Mm -hmm. For example, you, you, uh, when you search uh, maybe a gourmet product, yeah, in automatic you respond uh, in the selectors, you can find mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. y creo no, que sí. Not in all selectors, but in some uh, specific selectors, you, you will find uh, the specific product, the, the gourmet, in this case. Mm. Y creo uh, que los clientes uh, están satisfechos uh, con esto. Ok, I have a question. Which column are you working on right now? Uh, the fourth. Ok, good. On the left, the, the fifth. Ok. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Which element are you working on right now? The second uh, one. The second? Yeah. Okay. Brand loyalty. Brand loyalty. Okay. That is, let me see. The number four, brand loyalty. Es que creo que no las hemos llevado en orden. <laughs> ok. Ok. It doesn't matter. Uh, what I was uh, suggesting is that you can make a summary of the of each column. You don't need to like specify the question. Um, well, I guess you already talked about brand awareness, right? Um how about perceived quality? What do people think about cola champagne? Is it good quality or not not that good? It's good quality. Okay. So that's what people think. Okay. Now the brand associations that we can make.
what is your association? I mean, what is the association that you make when you see this brand? What comes to your mind? Um, with restaurants. Okay, that you can have it at famous, mm -hmm. famous restaurants and Ah, okay, okay. That you can drink it at pupuserias. Mm -hmm. Okay, so something like that is what I need you to write. Well, if you are writing something or creating something, like a summary. Put it into a summary. Can I see what you are doing? Maybe if you make in the presentation. Uh-huh. Can you show me? I think it's kind of stuck. Como que se quedó pegada la pantalla. Or oh, is it my perception? So no fue lady. I think she had connection issues. Let me check in the main room. Okay, I think a uh, lady has maybe connection issues because she's not in the main room either. Um, so let's let's finish up talking about the rest of the the aspects that you have not discussed. Maybe within you two, so we can advance. You don't necessarily have to write it; just discuss it orally. It's fine. Is the brand able to actually associate in the of your mind? What's about? It's kind of hard to hear you, Israel. I'm sorry, I'm at the park. Yeah. At the park? Yes, because it's too hot. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to put closer my microphone. Oh, yeah. Aha, uh -huh, because sometimes it sounds like you're very far away. Oh. I was, I was, uh, Rolando, is the brand able to activate association in the customer's mind? What do you think about? Sorry, could you repeat that, please? Okay. Is the brand able to activate association in the customer's mind? Uh, the, the product is association and the, the customers. Uh -huh. oh, okay, Let, let's see it in this way. What do you think about when you think about Cola Champagne? For example... Uh, 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 I think about the, the Cola Champagne for me, is it's a little product, but um, I remember when I was a child, uh, I I did uh, a drink uh, cola champagne. Is a I was good, but now it's not good. <laughs> now I. Uh, how do you say it's a word, teacher? The taste. Ah, uh, the taste. The taste. Uh, 
drinks a cola champán a, a medicine. Mm. It tastes like medicine. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, teacher. Okay. It used to have a, a, a better a better taste. It was better in the past. Uh, see, uh, in the past is is better, but uh, now mm -hmm. it's no, it's no better. Okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, so we we are like discussing morally just to advance. She left <laughs> again. <laughs> well, uh, so that's association, right? Like. Uh, in this case, um, Rolando is saying that it used to be better. Now it's not that good. Uh, and the other one is, let's see, what's the other column? A loyalty, brand loyalty. Have you discussed that one? What about the loyalty? I think every Salvadorian really loves cola champagne, even when the taste is not good now. Ah, right now. so Salvadorians are loyal to cola champagne. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, what about the last column, which is proprietary? assets uh what is something in other words what makes cola champagne unique i don't i don't could you help me with, with that word you said about the last topic is about you said uh, and out proprietary asset no proprietary asset uh-huh um could you help me with an example to, to ah, the aha uh -huh, yes um well in this case proprietary assets um is related to like what for example i gave you yesterday in the case of coca-cola right they say that the recipe the original recipe for coca-cola is a secret okay so only a, well, I don't know, the, the, the main, the managers, global managers, or I don't know who exactly, but the, it is a secret that is well kept. So in this case, we're talking about intellectual property, right? Because when you create something, and if it is your original idea, you want to protect it right? You are the only one who has the rights, intellectual rights, or the copyright. So, uh, mm -hmm. so in this for case... For example, mm -hmm. could, could be the, the label of Cola Champagne, you remember, it was made by the artist named oh, uh, Fernando Igor. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that is something that makes it stand out. True. Mm -hmm. The 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 very unique um, technique, mm -hmm. let's say, from this artist. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's related. It's not related to the product itself, but to the brand, right? Like the colors, the images. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even the color of the like, pan looks tasty. Color. Uh huh. <laughs> Lady is frustrated because she cannot get in. She has connection issues. Okay. Well, uh, let's say that we are done with this part. Um, so I'm just going to check what the other group is doing. I think they were about to be done as well. And then we're going to go back to the main room. Okay. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Sembrado y a la hora que yo vengo aquí, no me ayuda. <risa> Hello. Okay, bien, teacher. Hi, Hola, teacher. teacher. Hello, teacher. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you nothing, about? Nothing. Planning about how will how how will we will conquer the world, but anything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So who is Pinky and who is Brain? Since you are talking mm. about to, uh, conquer the three the of us are Brain. And the three of us are pinky because we have the idea, but we don't know how to do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we're going back to the main room. Uh, both groups are, are ready, finished. So see you there. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> My internet is un unstable. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> Don't worry. Um. Well, Rolando and in in Israel finished the discussion orally. Okay. So okay. right now, um, they're coming back to the main room. Let me see. Ah, pensé que los había cerrado ahorita. Ok. okay. Back and uh, they are going to share. You can share what you have and then they complement the rest. Ok, teacher. Lo siento. No problem. That is something you cannot control. Mm, yes. It's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, here is everybody. Well, um, well, it's time to share with everybody what we were discussing in terms of the brand that uh, we analyzed in our group, right? So how about we start with Mr. Gilberto's group? Ahí Gaby eh, va a compartir la, la información. Ay, es que estoy desde el teléfono. Perdón. No, no. Por do, you have, do you have a document, Gabriela? Is there a document that you need to share? I can, you can send it to WhatsApp and I can share it here. Voy a intentar pasarlo. Es, perdón. Es que estoy como en dos, dos. I, I use the computer and the, the, the cell phone to the, to the video. Ah, so, ok, ok. Uh In the meantime, we can start with uh, the other group then. While you get ready, we can start with Mr. Rolando, Israel, and Lady. Probably, Lady, can you share what you have at the beginning and then uh, your classmates can continue? Okay. Mm -hmm. The brand we decided is Cola Champagne Salvadorian drink. Cola Champagne is a national drink that everyone loves it and recognizes. It. Mm -hmm. That everyone loves and recognizes, right? Okay. Uh, the price is according to the quality of the product. 
the quality of the product is tasteful, the different presentation of color of color champagne is affordable. Okay, they are affordable. The they presentations are, are, are affordable. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe the, my uh, compañeros podrían hablar sobre las otras dos para que sea como dos, dos y dos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rolando, do you want to, to be the next or? Mr. Rolando. Uh, next. Okay. Well, I'm going to talk about just give me a second picture because I'm going to look find the other topics. Well, about the brand association. When everyone when when think about cola champagne, the first that comes to your mind is the family. All, in, all gathered together, having a good conversation on, on dinner. And it's a traditional, it's a, it's a, it's a brand that is a, it has a, that tradition in every home in El Salvador. Also, the other one, huh? and the brand, Yes, create positive servings in Tokyo because, like you said, people in, in the group, everyone who is abroad, everyone wants to to drink a cola champagne when they are abroad. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all. Okay. Okay. Um, I think uh, about the. Uh... The product uh, brand loyally. Uh -huh. um, the, the people in El Salvador um, now the holiday the the Christmas holidays uh, for uh, 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 dinners or uh, drinks uh, uh, cola champagne, but uh, for me. Uh, is no good product. Uh, mm -hmm. I take a, a medicine. It tastes like medicine for you. Ta it tastes like medicine for you. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, only teacher. Only that. Okay. Only teacher. Okay. Well, we the last one is proprietary assets. So maybe Israel, can you share a, what you were saying about the proprietary assets? What makes it stand out from the competition? Well, about the proprietary assets, we were talking about the label of Ola Chapan. Mm -hmm. It was made by Alejandro George. And that label really... Uh, what if what, what does the word step out? Stands out. Mm -hmm. Stands out mm -hmm. among other brands because if everyone knows about uh about about Alejandro George. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also the color of the color of the champagne is tasteful. Looks tasteful at the beginning, but like my my, like like Rolando said, now the taste oh, the taste is so different than than in in the past. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lady Israel, Rolando, um, for your contribution to the analysis of cola champagne. Okay, um, now we, I think uh, the other group is ready. Yes. 
Gabby, Gabriela, could you, were you able to share the document? Two minutes, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but if you cannot, cannot share it, probably we can start like discussing, presenting what you discussed orally, it's fine. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. I, I will read first. Okay. Um, in our case, uh, we we are we are focused in the Super Selectos brand. Uh -huh. As you know, uh, Super Selectos is is a it's a supermarket chain around the all the country. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in this case, uh, we are talking about uh, uh, of the brand. Uh, we know that when you talk, when you talk about super selectos, you talk uh, of, obviously in a supermarket, but a familiar supermarket when where uh, you will find a, a, every product from economical, from the expensive or or specific one, and also is a when you go oh, to the selectos to the selectos supermarket you usually go with your family because uh -huh. uh, uh, the the place have the 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 that is sense a, a sense of a familiar place a secure okay. place with variety products uh, and well when when Globally, or maybe in a resume, when you, when you, well, for example, when you ask to someone uh, if there is a supermarket near of, of the place you are, uh, in automatic, uh, every people uh, will answer to you, uh, there is a selectors, there is a selectors there. Uh -huh. uh, all the people have a supermarket, it is selectos super selectos well that that's my resume uh, i don't know uh, mr gilberto or gabriela who want to talk okay yes things? yes teacher and um, the the brand the super select per se quality the the client and and good price and mm -hmm. good quality uh -huh. And and security, the parking, the car. Ah, okay. There are parking lots that are safe. Yes. That are safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And brand association, association uh, the brand super select, uh, and the customer might uh, for security, for family. Instantans, uh, the communication, uh, and me, many uh, partners or uh, colleagues, the, the company, and many in Super Select uh, in the cafeteria. Ah, okay. People have the chance to meet at the cafeteria. Yes. In Super Selectos. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gabby? Uh, to and um, where I think that the price and quality is quite expensive, we talk about that. And but in terms of quality, it gives confidence to do some elements such as safety, for example, or um, the um, the easy uh, accessibility to uh -huh. the room, for example, different place, the super super selectors around the, the country, it is more easy to the go to the super selectors too. And the other thing is the for me and we talk about that too, is the is the I don't know, aire acondicionado, too. The air because... conditioning, the air conditioner. Mm -hmm. Air conditioning, because it's more, it's more um, 
comfortable to the customers uh, okay. shop uh, something okay. okay okay great thank you well uh, something that I, I don't remember if you mentioned about super selectos is that when you compare it to other uh, supermarkets, I would say is one of the most expensive, <laughs> um, <laughs> right? It's, 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 it's expensive um, compared to other supermarkets. But definitely it, it is a, a brand that has been in the market in El Salvador market for very long for a very long time, right? And that's why many people are really loyal to this brand. They are very loyal to Super Selectos. And one important aspect is what Gabby mentioned, right? That uh, well, the group mentioned in general that there are many many branches of Selectos everywhere, right? For example, here where I live. Uh, I have, let me see, I think there are about three super selectos, like, no, four, actually, very close to where I live. So, yes, in some places, there are many. Okay, well, so this was our analysis of the branding elements of a national brand, okay? Let me share the screen here just to show you. Uh -huh. uh, the components, the components of the branding strategy for two national brands, in this case, Super Selectos and Cola Champagne. I think you these two are very good examples of uh, national brands because Cola Champagne is also a, a brand that has been in the market, in the Salvadorian market for a long time, right? So very good examples, both of them. Okay, so it's time to, to do our self-assessment for this specific uh, topic. So let's take a few seconds to analyze. Now I can identify the brand components of well-known national brands. Can I do it independently with occasional help or only with help? Okay, so please um, choose one, okay, about this skill. I can identify the brand components of well-known national brands. What are the brand components? Well, brand awareness, perceived quality, brand associations, brand loyalty, and proprietary uh, assets. Okay, everyone. Uh, so now we're going to move to a different activity. And in this case, uh, we are going to be um, designing a basic checklist of the steps to define the brand of a product. Okay, brand definition. And we start with this question. How do you create a new brand or restore an existing one. Okay, let's see. I'm going to give the chance to Julio. Julio, I know you have been here, but uh, I didn't add you to the groups because uh, they were almost, oh, almost done. So what do you think about this question? How do you create a new brand or restore an existing one? What is your answer, Julio? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good um, evening. Okay. Uh, for to uh, for uh, to create a new brand is uh, is a product of uh, um, a personal need. Mm hmm. Uh, Sorry, can you repeat? I didn't hear you very well. It's a personal need. It's, ah, yeah. okay. So when we create new brands, they come out of personal needs. Uh -huh. It's product of a personal need. And sometimes we can 
eh, no, a false um, stop uh, or bid or in the company. Ajá. Uh -huh. The um, process, um, the production, uh, because we uh, maybe um uh, no sé que hay, we fall in I don't know how to pronounce y maybe that uh, in some times uh, uh, some some months is um, for production but uh -huh. maybe uh, november december it depends about the 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 service of the product we we sell okay let me see if i got your idea um so first you said that to create a new brand is about it comes out of a personal need, right? And yeah. then um, you focus on creating a, the product and then the company, something like that, I understood. Um, and well, in terms of like how well it's gonna be, how successful, it will depend on the months of the year because yeah, some- yeah. Some months, in yeah, some months, sales go up, in some other months, sales can go down. Yeah. Okay. But but uh, some companies, uh, if, if, in my case, uh, okay. some companies uh, have a uh, bad, bad administration. In my case, I work in the Alcaldía de la Union, uh -huh. but a little company. Uh, uh, but the company is um, managed uh, uh -huh. by a by a parent. It's a part uh, familiar. A relative. Oh yeah. A relative. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. In my case, uh, I have um some loss of money because I need to maintain the the um, it, my company working. Uh -huh. Okay. It's necessary, it's necessary that pro uh, the proprietary. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh, is um, pending. Um, pending of yes. the of the process of the uh, pedidos teacher. Uh, the orders. Not the order of the clients. Because uh -huh. um, it's not possible for the proprietary. Uh, uh, for the owner, in this case, you are the uh, owner. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the owner. Maybe, maybe the manager of the company, um, the manager don't matter. The, the, they don't care. Okay, the, the manager uh, in some times is only pending of his salary. <laughs> yes, that's right. It, because they are not the owners, right? Mm -hmm. So it is important that you as the owner are present in, I mean, as present as possible, right? Especially when you are building your brand, right? Very good. Thank you, Julio. Um, okay, we have another question. Is it effective to try and promote your product or service to everyone? Let's see. I'm going to ask this question to, 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 to Sophia. Are you available now, Sophia? Yes, teacher. I'm from the cell phone. Okay. So how would you answer this question, Sophia? Is it effective to try and promote your product or service to everyone? The way to promote? No, I mean, the question is, 
Is it effective to try and promote your product or service to everyone? Do you think it's effective that you promote your products or services to everyone? Yes, maybe if you make the do it, make your plan of uh, strategic to promote your brand. Uh -huh. You you are effective for your service or your product. Okay, so you need to have a strategic plan. Okay, very good. Um, if you remember in the article we read, I think two classes ago, uh, uh -huh. there was a um, there was a um, a subtopic that says identify your target market, right? So, yeah. uh -huh. So in this case, I am associating it to this question because it says. Is it effective to try and promote your service to everyone? Well, in this case, I will say that according to that information, it's necessary that we first know our target market, right? So that means that probably we have a product, right? That is not for everyone. For example, imagine you are selling a clothes for babies, baby clothes. You're making baby clothes. Well, your target market is parents or expecting parents, but not for everyone, right? Uh, yeah. Because you have this product that is specific for babies or yeah. that parents are going to buy. So, uh -huh. so that's the, the idea. Okay. I, I think that I answered that uh, chart uh, saying that the way to be is uh, identify why you are uh, 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 promote when you are promote what are you are promote uh -huh. how you are promote exactly uh -huh. mm -hmm. those are very basic questions that we need to analyze exactly great okay. Thank you. Okay, very good. So now after analyzing these questions, let's check this conversation between Angela and Mateo, eh, who are discussing basic ideas to start developing a brand. Okay, so um, I'm going to give you, a, I'm going to have two people practice this conversation. Um, okay, I'm going to take volunteers this time. I'm not going to say who is going to participate. So just raise your hand. Thank you, lady. Okay, somebody else who wants to be Mateo. Gilberto, excellent. excellent. Okay, so let's start with you, Mr. Gilberto, and then a lady with Angela. Okay. I went into business a liar six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price by the same saying to prefer the competitive competition. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Probable. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. Mm -hmm. How do I do that? I just usually, I let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can, can help you to do all the advertising. You already decide what kind of love you focus on. Now, you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Thank you, okay. lady. Okay, excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, uh, I'm just going to mention some words that we need to practice the pronunciation of. So let's start with, I went into business. 
I went into says, business. Ajá. Uh -huh, as a lawyer. As a lawyer. Six lawyer. months. Mm -hmm. And then lawyer. here we have the word barely. 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 I barely get any customer. In other words, eh, Mateo doesn't, Mateo is not getting many customers, right? So when you say barely, it means like you don't get many. Uh, <laughs> but they seem, 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 seem. Mm -hmm. seem to prefer the competition. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, here, this word, lady, providing. 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 Mm -hmm. Providing. Mm -hmm. uh, providing. See, I think that's it. Okay, I have Julio on the line. Let me see who else is here. Mm, okay, Julio, lady just participated. How about we have Julio and mm, Gabriela? Okay, so Julio, can you start, please? Julio is Mateo, or no? Yes, yes. Yeah. Sorry, ya estaba terminando y ya había quitado el mute. Sorry. <laughs> it okay. mm -hmm. into, in, into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way with out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Mm -hmm. well, you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve in the best business. Hey, how do I do what I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business car cars your clients can help you to do all the advertising you already decide what kind of law you focus on now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define it Define the brand you want. <laughs> ya me pasó lo mismo que a Julio. I was just... <laughs> okay. Uh, great. Let's just practice some words here. Uh, first, let's practice this one. Providing the service you are providing. Uh, also, let's see the word law, law, law. Okay, well, uh, I'm not going to ask everybody to read the conversation because uh, we're going to be working with the, the grammar, okay? In this case, we're going to focus on the grammar from this conversation. But first, I think we have some questions here related to the content or the ideas in the conversation. So let's see. Um, okay, look at the conversation and complete the sentences below. Well, let's do them together, okay? So let's look at number one. Um, How would you complete number one according to this? I mean, based on the conversation. Uh -huh. I, 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 I help. Uh -huh. I help. 
Yes, I help. People find. I help people find. find. Mm -hmm. I help people find the best way out of legal travel. Okay, now number two. I just usually... Look at Mateo here. Less customers. Sorry, I just usually, what is the verb that we are using here? Next. Let. Next. Let. Let's let I just usually let customers do 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 uh -huh. let customers do some advertising for me okay ay se me mueve ay 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 Okay, sorry, I need to do it again because it moves. Esto es lo malo de las annotations. Que si se mueve algo, se mueve todo. Okay, so let's see. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble, okay. And then number two, I usually let customers do some advertising for me. Okay, and the last one, number three, your clients can't Aha. Uh -huh. Who wants to help me with this one? The client can't. Help, 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 teacher. Okay. Can help. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. Me fui por un momento. Can help you. To can do. help you to do. Mm -hmm. To do. To do. Okay, very good. Well, um, vamos a tomarle aquí una captura. Oops. Before we delete it, because we have to delete it. Um, Okay, let me share this in the chat para que les quede ahí de evidencia. Okay, there you go. Well, now that we have completed this exercise related to the the conversation. Now uh, we're going to check the structure, okay, of when we use these two verbs, okay? And these verbs, remember yesterday we started talking about this grammar topic called causative verbs, okay? So these are, in this case, help and let are also causative verbs, okay? This is how we're going to use them uh, in these examples, okay? Yesterday we had the verbs, which two verbs we checked yesterday? Do you remember? Yes, teacher. The verb may. Uh -huh. get. Exactly. Today we focus on so make and focusing on help, and those four are called positive verbs okay? uh, because they help us express 
Eh, this idea of eh, having someone, other person, do something because we ask them or because we tell them to do it, okay? So uh, let's see the structure. We have a with help, we follow the structure. We have the verb help. Then we mention someone, a person. Cuando decimos someone es una persona, okay? No una cosa, no un animal, no un lugar, no. Es una persona. So someone, a person, and then is followed by the base form of a verb or an infinitive. Why does it have these two choices? Because for example, here you can see the training helps small business owners replicate. In this example, we have the base form, okay? Tenemos la base, y la forma base del verbo replicate. And then in the second example, with help, we have, a, okay, a marketing expert could help. Aquí tenemos el verbo, el causative verb. Luego va someone, en este caso es you. And in this example, we don't have the base form. What we have is infinitive, infinitive okay, infinitive. ¿Y cuál es la diferencia entre infinitive y base form? And the... What's before, the difference? Before the, the proposition to. Exactly, the, the particle to. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you write to, it's the infinitive, right? Infinitive. Okay, so we have these two options for the verb help. You can use it only in the base form or you can use it with the infinitive, okay? And now let's check the structure for let. Okay, for let, we have someone plus base form of a verb. So it's only base form. Examples, some companies let clients go through, okay? Aquí el go está en base form. Uh, the next example, an effective brand lets people explore, okay? De nuevo, el verbo está en su forma base. Okay, now, what's the meaning of let? Can you give me a synonym for the, the verb let? Huh? What is a synonym for let? What does let mean? Como dejar. Okay, allow, allow, or give permission. Exactly, give permission, allow. Mm -hmm. Obtener. Mm, no, eso sería get. Get. Yes, let. get. Mm -hmm. Let is different, mister. Mm. Um, okay, so, well, uh, do we have any question about the structure for both? For help and for let? Or is the structure clear? Is the structure clear? Estamos bien con la estructura de let and help. Uh, yes. <laughs> so far. <laughs> Maybe. So far, so good. <laughs> okay, let's do the practice. This practice that we have here, and also I have an extra practice that I will share with you later um, to, to work with this structure. Okay, um, let's see. I'm going to be assigning, I'm going to assign one to each of you. 
So you can share it later on, okay? I will give you probably one minute to share it with everybody. Okay, so let's start with Gabriela, number one, Israel, number two, Julio, number three, Lady, number four, um, Rodrigo, number five, and Sofia, number one. Okay, so please uh, complete with uh, the verbs you see in parentheses, okay? For example, number one, we have help and we have satisfied. Remember that Sorry. the same as in get and make, uh, we conjugate the verb depending on the, on the subject, depending on the context of the sentence, if it is in the present, the past, we, we need to conjugate the first verb. In this case, it would be help or let. Okay, so one minute and I'll be right back. I need water. My, my glass is empty. Okay, are we ready? No, teacher. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, you're not ready? Ready. Okay, let's start. Um, okay, Gilberto and Sofia, what do you have for number one? And this case, teacher, thinks about how your business helps your customer. Uh -huh. Satisf satisfy their, ne their needs. Okay, thank you. Sofia, do you have the same? I have uh, that. Think about how your customers, your business help your customers to satisfy their needs. Okay, both are correct in the case of uh, the second, right? Because it's possible to have only the base form or infinitive, right? So we can say just satisfy their needs or to satisfy their needs. Both are possible. Now, okay. in the case of a uh, help, help. Uh, in this, I, I'm not sure if I heard from any of you, but we need to add the S because we are talking about business, your business. So think about how your business helps with S, right? Helps your customers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because the subject is your business. So it's like a thing, right? Per person singular. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna write it here just so everybody can see. One sec here. Okay, so help. I sorry. Help. Okay. Help. And then I'm sorry. Satisfy. 
or to satisfy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Now, a uh, number two. Who have number two? I think it was Israel, right? Yes, Israel. teacher. Um, uh -huh. the, well, investors want uh let the I I, I re, it was this was hard. Really? Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, investor want let company development without a plan to improve business brands. Okay, won't let companies developing development development. Okay, um, well, when you say development, you are changing the word because in this case it's a noun. Sorry, it's, it's the verb. Development is a noun. So in this a particular structure, mister, you don't need to change the, a, the verb to a noun. We, we need to use the same word. The difference here is that whether you need to conjugate it or not. So if you look at the structure, oops. Okay, if you look at the structure here, we use let, aquí tenemos let, then someone, in this case, the someone is company. company. Uh -huh. And then the next word is the verb, the, the second verb, in this case, develop, right? So we need the base form, okay? So basically, you're just going to use it the same way you see it here. Um, so we just mm -hmm. say... Uh huh. So we, the the full the whole sentence is: Investors won't let companies develop uh, <laughs> without a plan to improve business brands. Exactly. Uh huh. So it stays the same in this case. Mm -hmm. Um. So we follow again. We follow the, this structure after let. We have the someone and then the base form of the second verb. In this case, develop, right? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now let's see uh, who have number three. Okay. Julio. Ah, okay, Mr. Julio, let's do number three. Okay. And um, the plant. The plan a uh, health. Let me see. Okay, health employees become part of the brand. Okay, the plan helps employees become become part of the brand. Mm -hmm. Now, do we have any other possibility here, Mister Julio? To become. To in become the, in the case it's, in the case of the that with the option to become is necessary is mm, to add a part of the brand. No. Uh, okay. No. To become a, always part of the brand. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, so we have two possibilities, everybody. We can say the plan helps employees become part of the brand or the plan helps employees to become part of the brand. Okay, yeah. so two possibilities yeah. with help. Okay, great. Number four, who have number four? Me, teacher. Okay, lady. They... A specific about a business brand, let's. Aha, uh -huh. let's. Customers identify our products easily. Okay, identify our products easily. Okay, 
So here, uh, according to what you see in parentheses, right, we are using let, however, because it is, okay, in this case, um, the, um, this is the subject, okay, being specific about a business brand. So this is what we call a, um, a noun phrase, okay? Well, it's actually a gerund phrase acting as a subject, being specific about a business brand. Todo eso es el sujeto de la oración, ¿ok? Y es una frase eh, que está como refiriéndose a una situación. Por lo tanto, es como que dijéramos it, ¿ok? El sujeto, el pronombre it, por eso le agregamos ese al, al verbo, ¿ok? Entonces decimos, being specific about a business brand, let's, porque me estoy refiriendo a la situación que ya se mencionó, ¿verdad? Entonces, let's customers identify, ¿ok? And again, we follow the structure, right? After let, you have someone, in this case, the someone is customers, then you have the base form of the next verb, which is identify, okay? Let's move on to number five, Rodrigo. Yes, teacher. Uh, branding, help. The verb is let. Ah, sorry, no. Branding, branding let. Uh-huh. Uh, the customer add a, per uh, a perceived value. Okay. To the product. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, in this case, again, because we are talking about, uh, well, this is like the thing, right? The thing. So branding. Branding is a thing. So third person singular, again. That's why I'm conjugating the verb let with S. Oh, okay. Simple present. Uh -huh. So branding lets the customer add a perceived value to the product. Okay. So again, I'm, I'm referring you to the, the structure, right? So we have let plus someone. Someone in this case is the customer. And then we have another verb, which is add. So we In write base form. using the base form, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Well, um, because of time, I'm not going to ask you to do the, the extra exercise uh, here with me, but give me one second. I'm going to share it in the WhatsApp group. Uh, let me see, it's here. Okay, in this exercise, everybody. Oh, wait, before I delete it, I'm going to take a, a picture and share it so you have evidence to study later, okay? Ah. Here. Okay, so here we have the exercise um, sold. And now I'm going to share the, the extra exercise.
Okay, in this in this exercise, just just so uh you are familiar with it. Um Okay, in this exercise, you can find uh, all the verbs that we have checked, the ones we checked yesterday, like make and get. And also uh, for today, we have let. And there is another one, have. Actually, have is similar to make. It's actually the same meaning, okay? Uh, yesterday, I explained that make, for example, if I say, my boss made me stay late today at work. Made me stay late. So when you say made, it doesn't mean that he asked me for a favor or requested a favor. No, make is when you tell someone to do something. It's a command, right? Uh, so it's like with a, mm, some authority, right? that we do, we use it that way, okay? Uh, so the same happens with have, okay? For example, if I say, um, I have my daughter clean her room every day. I have my daughter clean her room every day. So that means that I tell her to clean it, right? I command her to clean it. It's not a request, it's not a favor that I ask, it's a command. So they have the same meaning, make and have. Um, so uh, basically here, what you need to do is complete the sentences using the correct form of the verbs let, make, have, and get, okay? And when you finish, uh, you can check the answers here to see how you did, okay? Uh, but this is extra. Mm, I just copied it in the chat, in the WhatsApp chat, so you can practice uh, later on. Okay, um, now we're going to move to our activity number six. Well, I don't know if there is any question before I move on about this, the structure, how you feel about it, with this practice that we just had? Uh-huh. What's your per perception? <laughs> we have been talking about brand perception. So what is your perception of this structure, grammar structure? Is it easy? Is it a little difficult or too difficult? Uh huh. ¿Qué piensan? ¿Cómo ven esa estructura? Where did everybody go? Parece que ya no dormimos. <laughs> okay. It's Friday. Uh, it's Friday, teacher, and you know it's it. It's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday and the body knows, right? Uh-huh. It, it's yeah. more difficult, teacher. It's more difficult, Rolando. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For me, I I take light uh, sleeping now, teacher. Ah, you uh, I mean <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. we're talking about the structure, but you're talking about <laughs> difficult to 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 be awake. You're tired. Okay. I I I get you. I am very tired too. Hello, Sophia. <laughs> ah, Sofía creo que quiso decir que ya está despierta todavía. <laughs> Okay, well, we're gonna finish with this activity, okay? We're almost done, five more minutes. Come on, you can do it. Okay, um, how do you design a checklist of the steps to define the brand of a product? Okay, we're going to, we have this 
checklist here and a, well, I'm going to give you some time for you to do it on your own, okay? Because, and then you can share your, your answers with the class. No vamos a ir en grupo porque ya no tenemos tiempo, pero lo vamos a compartir juntos, okay? So, let's take two minutes to finish, to complete the checklist, yes or no, and then uh, we can discuss it together, okay? So, two minutes. I, I, I. It's a nice on the timer. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought you were asleep, Sophia. So the purpose of the checklist is whether we can assess or evaluate if our brand is strong enough to give us the internal and external value that we need in our marketing. So how strong is your brand? Um, that's what the checklist is about. Well, you still have one minute. <clears throat> okay, count down ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, let's see. Uh, Gilberto, can you share your example, please? I'm going to read this and you tell me yes or no. Remember, this is according to your brand, right? The brand you represent. So your brand relates to your target audience instantly without too much thought. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay. When we say this, this is referring to like, okay, is this something uh, that there is a, a, a strong relationship with the audience? Okay. Number two, your brand shares the uniqueness of what you offer and why it is important. Do we have a, a, a way to promote how unique our brand is and why it is important? Yes or no? Yes, teacher, it's important. Okay. The brand reflects the promise that you are making to who you are targeting. This means that if you promise something to your audience, does your brand reflect that? Yes, teacher, the brand reflect the promise, promise the, 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 the targeting. The, okay, the you know, last one. Group. Okay, the last one. Your brand reflects the values that you want to represent as a customer. 
for example, family, respect, love, kindness. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. I think okay. yes. Okay, very good. So again, this is an exercise for us to think of the brand we represent and how strong it is, right? Based on this, um, this criteria. These are criteria to evaluate how strong it is. Okay, well, um, I hope that next Monday we can have I'm gonna take probably 20 minutes of the uh, at the beginning to review this part a little bit because we didn't have enough time to actually discuss it for everybody. So, um, but today we have to finish here, okay? Let me check attendance before we leave. Um, let's see, Danny Anthony. Dani Anthony, Siguenza Ventura. Let me check if Dani is still here. Yes, as a listener. Okay. Um, Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, um, Jose Andres Martinez Perez, not here today. Um, let me see, Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Israel, are you still there? No se nos durmió en el parque. el micrófono, pero como que se le volvió a cerrar. I'm here, teacher. Okay, okay. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Good night. Good night, Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Okay, Luis Rodrigo Morales. Here, teacher. Okay, eh, Maria Leticia Realejeño. Present, okay. Mauricio Buruca. Mr. Mauricio, as a listener, let's see. Rebecca Maria Cardona, not here. Eh, Roberto Carlos Gámez, as a listener. Rolando Danilo Sánchez. Present, teacher. Ok. Eh, Sofía Karina Crespo. Present, teacher. Eh, Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Present, teacher. Ok, everybody. I know your body needs to rest, so go ahead and rest. <laughs> Take care, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye bye. Have a good weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. See you bye. Monday, teacher. Bye. Bye. bye.